and I can't record that fast. And I'm gonna do like a milestone speech on my YouTube channel, and that is for reaching 370 subscribers overall throughout the summer. So I got close to 400 right now, but 30 more to go. Sorry about the background. <laughs> just my nieces so the reason why I wanted didn't want to do 400 subscribers at first because it's been a rough year you know and not many people are watching my NASCAR content on half a car on i5 because of personal reasons or they have a family commitment to go to those excuses but it is what it is so so here's my dashboard of my YouTube performance so far. And some stats are from vidIQ and YouTube Tracker, I believe. Or YouTube Studio Tracker, so. I'm just gonna focus on this year, so. Unfortunately, 300 great subscribers. It's only been January, but the one for June was right there, one subscriber, but. I know I can do it, just I don't want to give up, I don't want to lose faith in my channel, it's just other commitments that have been affected, so, so we're going to go to the next one, 13,569 views, mostly because of NASCAR, but most of the time it's just landing around the same levels. So. And then let's look at watch hours. Similar to the views, but not many hours are accumulated now, and it's not where it's supposed to be. So, yeah. And it's distractions like other family members and all that want to look at my channel, but they're using it the wrong way on me. and Especially people you don't know and looking at my comments, likes, and just number of subscribers. They play as a factor in my whether or not I'm going to gain them or not. So, so let's look at the one on the bottom. 82 average views a day. That's solid, but won't get me to 400 to 500 subscribers in a heartbeat, but gotta be patient that's what it's all about and want to get better at it so and then 2.5k videos I know I make a lot of videos just to get views but it's clickbait and I see where I'm trying to go with this and uh, no matter what kind of content I put out there I'm not getting any views but but to fix this, I made a second YouTube channel and it's called Carlos Santos 2. It's only for sports and anything not related to racing. So that's good, heading in the right direction. And then you see these trends like 28 days ago, 14 days, 7 days total and so forth. It's in the green and hopefully when I get more subscribers. I can convince them to look at it, my old videos, and hopefully everything will be all right. You know, I sometimes get dislikes for the like to dislike ratio, but it won't mean much. But just wait a few seconds. I have information from VidIQ about my monetization policies that they updated, so hang on. Back. Oh, let me say it again. So I'm back and I looked at this YouTube post that was on vidIQ on my YouTube channel and I'm going to read it to you. It's a big update monetization wise and they're lowering the expectations. So it's part of the YouTube. Pro yeah. 
if I know the acronym YouTube program policies uh, I'll go with that but it's called the YPP line so all I need to get to be monetized is 500 subscribers three public videos in the last 90 days 3,000 watch hours in 12 months or get 300 million short views in 90 days so and then things like super chats super thanks memberships and more but not ad revenue now that's the part I kind of say it's fair but my opinion just keep working and keep grinding I'll get the views in my YouTube channel and everything will be just fine so that's the end of the left side of the article the right side so here's the chart of what it looks like 500 subscribers three valid public uploads in the last 90 days and yeah yep that's the same thing so so what do you guys think about my uh, news so far of my 370 subscribe right subscribers on YouTube milestone speech so I know it's been rough it's been tough I grind for two years to gain a lot of subscribers like once it was 50 subscribers in like 2020 and then got up, up got up to 100 200 300 and then 400 and I've had to plead my cousins and relatives to subscribe to my channel and recruit them but they're not NASCAR fans but I always tell them to go to Car Santos too to get their sports like basketball, football, baseball, you name it. But not much hockey and soccer, so sorry. So, so I'm happy, happy Carnival Night Fest. Hope you all have a great summer. Stay safe and happy Father's Day. And peace out.